opening statement from Coach, and then we'll go to questions. Uh, congratulations to Oklahoma State. Um, they, did, they did a very good job at their house and uh, just disappointed that we didn't do what it took to be able to pull off the win. Is there a reason why you guys couldn't get enough defensive stops in that second half? Uh, <laughs> um, they did a good job of moving the basketball, and uh, their guys, their players made plays. OSU's not really a great three-point shooting team or free-throw shooting team, but it seemed like they got both today. Is it just well, they they actually attempt more like they're the number two uh, three point attempt teams uh, in in our league, and both Small and Wright are both really good shooters, and so they had some other guys that stepped up and make shots, and that's what has to happen if you're gonna you know win a game. You know, guys have to step up, and so you know as you know that. Thought they, they they helped us out a little bit at the end, missed a couple free throws that allowed us to you know have a chance, and so but um, you know they they did a better job today than we did. Was there a little bit of unknown in the game planning because you didn't really know what they were going to look like without Bryce Thompson in the lineup? Mm, yeah, a little bit, but we changed our lineup too, so it, it goes into that. I I thought we started the game all right, and. Uh, because um, we hadn't been starting games well the, the last few. And so, I mean, that, that was a plus for us. Uh, uh, we just didn't close the half well. And they came out the second half, and, um, you know, we didn't guard anybody in the second half. No David in the starting lineup today. He didn't play in the first half. What was the reasoning behind that? His knee was bothering him, and we held him out of practice and actually didn't – was hoping not to play him, you know, just – uh, he's in he's in a lot of pain every time he jumps, and you know so we were trying, but he he kept bugging Coach Marco to get in, and so we went with him. What's kind of the frustration level right now? Um, losing is not fun, all right. Anytime you lose, right, it doesn't matter if it was we had won ten in a row and then lost one, it, it doesn't matter. And like this is our movie. Right? We, we, choose, we can choose to be victims or we can choose to be stars. We're going to choose to be stars in this movie. We're going to be the one to determine how it turns out, not uh, somebody else or, or the narrative or the obstacles that are in our way. Right? Die Hard wouldn't be great if Bruce Willis got killed in the first scene, right? When he, oh, why me? No shoes, right? He gets killed. Movie wouldn't have been a great movie. He chose not to be a victim. We're going to choose not to be a victim. Coach, you mentioned how it was really the last few minutes of the first and the first few minutes of the second that you thought had a big impact on the game. Why do you think that turned out how it did? They made shots. They made shots. And part of it is uh, they rose up and made shots and put players making plays, and part of it is that we weren't as locked in as we needed to be. On Tuesday, you said that the loss was on you. Who's the loss on today? I take lo every loss. Take every loss, but we, we we all I think we, we all in that locker room know we all could have done a little bit better together. There was a huddle in the second half at a, during the timeout where you were a little bit more fiery with your team. What kind of contributed to that moment? <laughs> we wouldn't compete. You know, like I mean, you only get like what, what is it, 37 of these, 40 of uh, um, best, like 31 guaranteed games a year that you get to play in these great arenas against other really good players and, and you know if you say this is what you want to do right this is your craft this is what you love that should never be a time where you're not competing out there you know and, and that's what we have to figure out we got to figure out how we're going to compete for 40 minutes and uh, we have enough talent uh, we, we just like they kicked our butts to the 50-50 balls today uh, that, was, that was a credit to Mike and his staff getting those guys ready and uh, they competed harder than we did at times and you can't like choose uh, pick and choose. We're not good enough to pick and choose when we're going to compete and win games in this league. Tyler, how do you think uh, you guys get out of this losing streak? <clears throat> um, just get back to you know doing what we do best. Like I said, like Coach said, that's scrapping, guarding, um, rebounding, and um, just playing together. Uh, there's no, he says it all the time. There's no fairy dust that's you know that we can use, um, and this is a tough league, so. Every night is going to be a battle, and, you know, it's up to us at the end of the day. 
Cam, do you think you guys could have played with more effort today, like Coach was saying? Yeah, most definitely. I know there was a couple times on the court where, you know, me personally, where I could have, you know, got a 50-50 ball. And uh, I just feel like uh, as a team, we got to, uh, you know, play with more heart and, you know, get those 50-50 balls. I know part of that was because of David's injury, but what, what did you like about the, the new starting line? Yeah, the big day in Well, I, I thought the ball moved. Um, and, well, when you have playing pretty much four guards, they can't um, clog off or, like, put a guy in at the rim to protect the roller. So, um, obviously, the way we shot the ball, though, it didn't um, translate, but I thought the ball moved better. I just thought we was a little more locked in at the beginning. I felt like the guys felt bad about, you know, the Oklahoma game, and uh, we responded there, and now we've got to figure out how to uh, sustain that effort through 40 minutes. A lot of this, a lot of the Big 12 is a lot older, a lot of seniors and juniors that have been around for a while. This team, uh, Oklahoma State, is very young, you know, three or four freshmen that play. What kind of challenges does that present, if any, that, you know, playing against younger guys where a lot of the league is, is more veteran? Well, it, it's not, I, it was interesting when I, at the, in the starting line before the jump ball, I looked at their team and I saw two freshmen out on the floor. Uh, I think a fifth year, two fifth year seniors, or a fifth year and a fourth year senior, and then a um, uh, second year guy. Right? And then I looked at ours and I said, okay, fifth year senior, third year guy, but really only second year playing. You know, like, I, and I was like, ah, it's pretty even there, you know, as far as experience. So um, young guys, the great things about young guys is uh, that they don't understand the moment. Like, there's not a pressure on them. They're playing free. And the bad things about young guys, they don't understand the moment. <laughs> there's not a pressure there. They're playing free. So, uh, but uh, those guys, I mean, we're in the second semester now, so they're, they're not freshmen anymore. No, they played a lot of minutes. So um, he's got a talented uh, bunch that's getting better. You talked about offensive rebounding. You did a better job early. I think you had like a 9-2 to two second chance point advantage. Did you feel like... You did a better job on that. Yeah, we did, but it, I mean, it, it ended up being, uh, I mean, 20 to 11 second chance points. I thought we were, we did a really good job there and, uh, you know, late in the game. It, it wasn't like, it was the, when the ball bounced on the ground, right? And it could, anybody could get it. They got it, I would say, you know, eight out of 10 times. And that's where we've got to, we, we have to like even that or, or win that in order to have a chance on the road. I know turnovers, 15 of but I think uh, none of them in the last probably five, seven minutes or so. Did you feel like you took better care of the ball? Well, we know how to take care of the ball, right? The question is, how do we do it for 40 minutes? And Because if we can go those kind of spurts without turning it over, we could extend that. And so we have to, it, it has to be a priority for us. It's kind of a quick turnaround with this team. It's you think? Just to get back out there and keep grinding. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a great thing about this league, right? You get to, like, turn around, we're at the house, and school up the road is coming down. And, I mean, like, we, we got to go get after it. They got a tough one tonight. I mean, everybody has a tough one. You know, like, I mean, it just doesn't matter. You know, it's just, uh, it's, you, you got to be able to turn the page quickly, but also learn from it. And, and it's got to hurt you, right? It's got to hurt you. And, and, and it's okay that it hurts us and because it, it means we care. If it doesn't hurt you, I don't want you in the locker room. Cam, how do you guys make things right uh, with Kansas coming to town Monday? Uh, we got to bring it. Uh, we got to, you know, they're a good, they're a good team, and we got to show them that we're a good team. You know, they got to play against us too. Anything else for these guys? Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys.